I'm here with Tim, one of the actors for The Fiddler on the Roof. Tim, do you want to tell me a little bit about what you've done in act with acting in the past? Um, it's been a while. Uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I was in um, a straight show, meaning a non-musical, here at the Playhouse, Moonlight and Magnolias. But this is my first musical in about um, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, I think the last time I did a full musical was when I lived in Des Moines 20 years ago, mm -hmm. which was a chorus line. Okay, so are you excited to be back at the Playhouse? Um, I'm very excited to be back at the Playhouse. I'm excited to be back on stage, but a little terrified yeah. too. A little terrified after that mm -hmm. long away, but yeah. it's it's a good terror. It's a good terror. I think when we push ourselves to brinks of fear mm -hmm. and try and overcome them, it's an exciting thing. So do you want to tell me a little bit about the character that you're playing in the Tevye, musical? It's really been exciting to kind of come to terms with it. He's such a joyous character yeah. that despite having to move from his town despite having to give up three of his daughters to mm -hmm. weddings that he hadn't planned on and even losing one to someone who is not of his faith, mm -hmm. he still has this powerful belief in the goodness of people mm -hmm. and in the power of his own faith. And so it's a beautiful character to kind of get in touch with. What have you been doing other than singing and... Well, and, and growing this. Yeah. This, isn't a, this isn't an ordinary thing. Yeah. But um, actually, I'm um, just studying and thinking about faith and. And one of the things I think that's really important is developing that bond with the actors because I think it's so important on stage, those three daughters, the actors that portray my mm -hmm. daughters, to, to develop that kinship with them so that when I do have to give them up on stage, mm -hmm. there is an emotional response to it. We're downstairs of the basement of the Playhouse in the costume shop with Angie, who's the costume designer for Fiddler on the Roof. Angie, do you want to tell us a little bit about what it's like designing the costumes for this musical? It's fun. It's a lot of fun. This is a, a really traditional, old school kind of musical, and it's also about tradition. Uh, it's just a joy to bring to life all of these great costumes from a uh, Jewish lifetime in uh, Russia about a hundred years ago. This is the married couple that we know. This is Tevia, who is the star of the show. There's the hat that we created, the vest that we created, and the, the shirt, all sort of rustic wools and great natural colors that would have been around at that time period and kind of reflect their life in a very poor environment. Yeah. And this is Golda. Golda is his wife. Um, and so we have this lovely calico uh, blouse. She's a housewife. I think the wedding dress is going to be one of my yeah. favorites. And we are recreating this from antique um, garments, antique lace, antique petticoats, stuff mm -hmm. that is actually a hundred years old. Frumacera is also going to be loads of fun. Frumacera <laughs> is the ghost of Laser Wolf's wife who comes back. Um, and so it's a two-person costume, one person on top of the other, and, and there's 30 yards of chiffon in it. Oh. So, you know, lots of layers, very ghostly. That's going to be a fun moment in the show. So, Leanne, this production sounds like it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I saw that there's a little bit of construction in the front. Are people still going to be able to park in the same spots? And is there anything they need to know about coming to the show differently? Well, they'll probably want to come about five minutes earlier than they normally do. We do have a few spots on the west side that are no longer there, but, of course, our east parking lot the streets around uh, the Playhouse, and of course our neighbors, the shops at Roosevelt, have a, a parking lot on the east side that people can use. Okay, great. So they're still able to park and come to the show. And can you tell us how did we can get tickets for this production? You can purchase tickets online at dmplayhouse.com. It even lets you pick your seat or give us a call at 515-277-6261 or of course come here to the Playhouse ticket office. Awesome. And then the production will run on Wednesdays through Sundays, September 6th through the 29th.